it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another What I Ate in a Day video. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Healthy Cell and today I will be showing you everything I am eating in a day as a vegan. So I hope you're excited, I hope you're hungry, let's get started with breakfast. Breakfast time! Let's make some breakfast. So we are taking a walk. We're gonna add some chopped mushrooms and chopped green onion. No, those are not green onions. Those are red onions, guys. It's early in the morning once again. It's early morning voiceover time. Are you guys ready for this? My brain is half switched on. My coffee is half done. We're gonna saute the onions and mushrooms. And using our hopefully clean hands, at this point, I think most of us are germaphobes, uh, using our clean hands, and we're gonna crumble some extra firm tofu onto the pan. Look look at that crumbling job. I mean, that is some, that is a good crumbling job, guys. So we're gonna cook that for a little bit, and then when we are ready, we can add our scrambled tofu seasoning. If you guys haven't seen my scrambled tofu seasoning recipe, you must try it. It's basically a mixture of spices that I like to make and add into a jar so that whenever I make scrambled tofu, my life is easier and I can just take out one jar instead of like 15 jars. So I'll link that down below if you guys are interested. And then let's add in some veggie ground. So this is Eve's veggie ground. This one is in the Mexican flavor. And this just adds a really nice element of extra flavor. And also it uh, adds some nice texture in there and also some extra protein. And then I also added in some black salt, AKA Kala Namak, which is gonna give this whole thing a little bit more of an eggy flavor. And that is how quick and easy it is to make a delicious uh, scrambled tofu, but we're not just gonna have scrambled tofu, we're gonna have breakfast tacos, my friends. So I have three shells here. I'm gonna add some uh, chopped lettuce. And then let's add in some of our scrambled tofu. And I had some parsley in the fridge, so I thought I would add that in there. Let's also add some corn, some salsa. We're also gonna add in some chopped red onion, some fresh red onion, so good, and some uh, sriracha, and those are my breakfast tacos. Don't they look so good? Now one thing, I do wish I had soft tacos. I realize I actually like soft tacos more. It's just easier and um, they're just better. What can I say? Are you a soft taco or a hard taco? All right, you guys, so now it is time to take my vitamins. I cannot stress enough the importance of making sure that you are meeting your nutritional requirements. And this brings us to the sponsor of today's video, which is Healthy Cell. So Healthy Cell, they've got this amazing vegan essentials uh, supplement, which contains the essential vitamins, minerals, and other vital nutrients that you might be concerned with on a vegan diet. So they come in these little micro gel packs, like so. So they're individual, so basically you just take one of these a day Day. And the reason that they are microgel is that it actually enhances the absorbability factor. So this is really great for making sure that you're actually absorbing the nutrients and the vitamins that you are putting in. And another great thing is that they actually have a zero waste policy. So these little packets are all zero waste friendly. You can recycle these. And this little packet contains so many vital nutrients and vitamins. So for example, B12, what every vegan should be taking, vitamin D3, there's omega three, six, and nine. There's zinc, all kinds of goodness. Let's, let's take some. They're really great and convenient because you can just throw these in your backpack or something or you know if you are traveling, if we can ever travel again, you can keep these in your travel pack and you can just pop them straight into your mouth or you can mix it with water like I like to do. So I like to mix it with a little bit of water and then just chug it back. And it tastes pretty good. I mean, it still tastes like a vitamin. Don't get me wrong, guys. It has like a mango flavor. It's sweet and you're getting like so many vitamins and you are absorbing those vitamins. Let's mix and then you just take it. Cheers. Ah, no pills needed. If you don't like pills, I know there's people out there that can't swallow pills. This is an alternative, my friends. So guys, don't forget to check out Healthy Cell. There will be a link down below for you to get 20% off your first order. And if you actually wanna try it out first before buying, they're also offering you a completely free sample of two gel packs. You can get it completely free, including free shipping, which is amazing. The links and codes will be all in the description box below, so don't forget to check them out. Thank you so much to Healthy Cell for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's go eat some lunch. 
All right, guys. So lunchtime, we are going to prep some veg. So we have my trusty baby bok choy. We also have half a small onion. We're just gonna slice that right up, and some mushrooms. Let's slice those as well. And the other day, I found these instant rice noodles at the grocery store, and I don't know why I never saw these before, because these are amazing. All you have to do is just pour some hot water. And then you just cover it up, wait like two, three minutes, and then they are ready to be put into stir fries or soups or whatever. So amazing, such a game changer. So after a couple of minutes, I'm just going to rinse it in cold water. And let's also make a quick sauce. So we're gonna use two tablespoons of PB2, which is powdered peanut butter, half a tablespoon of maple syrup, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar and one tablespoon of lemon juice and we're gonna mix that well so originally I wanted to make kind of like a pad thai but my tamarind paste went bad so I couldn't make pad thai so I kind of made a similar dressing that I would make to pad thai and this was still very very good all right it is now time to cook let's throw in some onion some mushroom some bok choy into a pan that is heated I'm just gonna cover it up and let it cook a bit. And I had some leftover tofu uh, from breakfast, so I'm just gonna crumble some of that up. And this can act as kind of like an egg substitute for dishes like this because the texture is quite similar. So we're gonna do that. And we're also gonna add in some chickpeas. Yum! And let's basically cook that up until everything is pretty much cooked. And then let's add in our rice noodles. And let's also pour in that delicious sauce that we made. And I also added a little bit of water into that sauce bowl at the end, just to make sure I get all that sauce. And then we just mix that really well. So basically you just wanna mix it around until all the rice noodles are nicely coated and the sauce is evenly dispersed. And then at the end, I'm just gonna add some sesame seeds on top as well as some green onion, you guys know me. And there you have it, a really simple uh, rice noodle dish that takes just a few minutes. It's so easy and I'm so happy I found those instant rice noodles. Now I can eat rice noodles all the time. Let's plate it guys, let's plate it nicely. So I added some more green onions and then I'm also going to top with some sriracha. Yummy. And there you have it. There's my lunch. It's so good. And um, it was filling. It was just awesome. Hope you guys try this out. Now let's move on to dinner. We are working with potatoes, my friends. I wanted to make some air fried fries. So I'm just peeling some potatoes and I'm gonna cut them up into fries shapes. Shapes of fries, yes. I have about three medium-sized potatoes here, and I'm just gonna throw all of my little fries into a large mixing bowl. And then I'm just gonna add in one tablespoon of oil, and that's more than enough to coat everything and make everything nice and crispy, so it's really awesome. So just one tablespoon of oil. I could probably get away with even using a little bit less, but it's fine, okay? It's all good. And to season, I'm just using some garlic salt and some black pepper. That's it, let's mix it well and throw it in the air fryer. So I threw these in the air fryer at 370 degrees for 12 minutes initially, and then I cooked them for another like four or five minutes until they were cooked to my liking. So you're just gonna have to play around with the times. It depends on how much you add into the air fryer, how much time you'll need. So just kind of like start with a little bit and then add in some more time as you go. And while the air fryer is doing its magic, let's prepare our new favorite thing, buffalo soy curls, okay? So we have soy curls here. These are dehydrated pieces of soy that you rehydrate by adding some water. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna wait about 10 minutes until they're ready to cook. And in the meantime, let's chop our other favorite thing, <laughs> baby bok choy. Let's chop them up. We're gonna make a bok choy Caesar salad. And um, if you guys want the recipe for this, this is amazing, okay? You guys need to try this. I'll link the recipe down below. Trust me, guys, it's awesome, okay? 
you need to try this. So we have here some chopped baby bok choy, fresh, my friends, fresh baby bok choy. And then let's add in some of our vegan Caesar salad dressing, which you can find the recipe for in my bok choy Caesar salad recipe video which is once again linked down below so we're going to toss that and then we also have some leftover croutons in my fridge that we're going to add into this mixture this is all just leftovers so if you make extra uh, caesar salad dressing you can always make the uh, the salad very easily and now the soy curls are ready to be cooked so we're adding some uh, vegan mayo vegan mayo no that is not vegan mayo that is vegan butter vegan butter onto a pan and then we're going to heat that up and then let's add in our rehydrated soy curls and then we're going to cook that until they're kind of nicely golden on the outside and once we've achieved that slight tannage we've got the nice tan going we're going to add some garlic salt here and then we're going to toss that mix that well and then once that's done, we can turn off the heat and then add in our Frank's red hot sauce, AKA the buffalo sauce, okay? The buffalo sauce. So you can add as much or as little as you want. So I just like to add a little bit and then toss it and then add a little bit more if I need. And there you go. That's how easy it is to make buffalo soy curls. And now it is time to plate. So here we have our baby bok choy Caesar salad. It's vegan, it's delicious. We also have some uh, soy curls. These are like chicken wings, but without the chicken and without the wings. And then we've got some uh, air fried fries. These are like fries, but without the frying. I know, it's, it's amazing. So here is my dinner plate, guys. Doesn't that look fantastic? And I'm sorry, but this is kind of balanced, okay? So we've got the healthy carbs from the potatoes. We also have some lovely protein from the soy curls. And we also have some nice veggies, some nice greens from the baby bok choy. And a little healthy side of tomato here, some uh, ketchup, okay? I mean, that's pretty great, okay? So great. And to finish things off, we are having some oranges, mandarin oranges for dessert. All right, you guys, so that is it for my what I ate in a day video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see more what I ate in a day videos, I'll link my playlist down below with all of my what I ate in a day videos. Thank you so much to Healthy Cell for sponsoring today's video once again. Check out the link down below to grab yourself some Healthy Cell at 20% off. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!